If your nonprofit needs to fundraise or bring in donations of goods or services, where do you even start looking for some help? It can be really hard if you are starting a nonprofit or before you've established any kind of community or group of supporters to know where to begin, even looking for places that could support you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk through 10 websites where you can start researching and finding opportunities for donations for your nonprofit organization. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber Melanie Smith. If we haven't met before, I'm a nonprofit founder and executive director who makes these videos here on YouTube all about making a social impact, whether that is through starting and growing and leading a nonprofit organization or socially conscious business or supporting other causes that you care about outside of that as well. My channel is all about helping you navigate how to do that. As always, I hope that you find this video is helpful to you and useful in your work doing good in the community. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I also have a website, foundertofulltime.com, where I have some online courses and other resources for people starting a nonprofit or developing a sustainable fundraising plan that might be helpful to you. So feel free to check those out. All right, so let's get into these 10 websites. I'm gonna break these down by type of giving. So the types of donations you might expect to find and apply for on each of these sites. Let's get into it. The first category of website I'm gonna talk about is where you might research and find and apply for in-kind donations. If you're not yet familiar with what in-kind donations are, it basically means that instead of receiving straight cash, you're gonna receive donated goods or services. So like, let's say your organization needs a specific piece of equipment or some software or some food or other materials, those would be in-kind donations. The first website I'm gonna talk about is donatestuff.com. And from what I can tell, this is a pretty new venture. So it hasn't expanded to every city just yet, but I can tell that if you're interested in receiving support from donatestuff.com in your city and they're not already serving your area, you can enter in your information and let them know that you're interested in them expanding to your area and they will let you know when they have done so. so so on this website, you're going to find opportunities to find um, different types of donations like clothing or furniture or electronics, and um, you'll be able to connect with the individuals or the businesses who are offering those types of donations. The second website I'm gonna talk about is a little bit more well-known and it's Good360. So good360.org. Um, this is a website where nonprofits can um, go to find excess goods from usually businesses that are larger. So you might find like excess materials from Walmart or from Amazon or something like that on this website that they're basically just trying to get rid of in bulk because they, for whatever reason, don't have a need for those things anymore. So as a nonprofit, you can set up an account with Good360. You can browse their catalog of different items. You might see things like toys or um, personal care hygiene gene items so if you do a lot of like um, outreach for example to uh, the community experiencing homelessness you might be making hygiene kits stuff like that um, so you might find stuff like that I do want to offer the caveat that um, in some cases on this site um, it wouldn't be a straight-up free donation there would be maybe a small cost to perhaps manage the delivery or even small cost um, that is well below the market value for uh, the goods themselves. But um, if that's still an arrangement that works for you, it can be a good return on investment. The third site I'm gonna to talk to you about is The Shareway. So that's thesharway.com. And this one has goods like the other sites. So you might find food and stuff like that. But what I'm really excited about with this website is it's great for your auctions or your raffle type of fundraisers as well. So you can get on there and determine which businesses offer like gift card donations that you could use for an auction or to buy items that you need for your organization. It could go either way, um, you know, miscellaneous things like um, alcohol, for example. Um, 
And I think this one is really interesting because you don't know how many times I've tried to have some kind of like a gala or fashion show or some kind of fundraising event where the cost to have alcohol for our bar was just prohibitive. And so having um, a website that could potentially help you get uh, hooked up with some you know donated or heavily discounted alcohol for your major fundraising event um, that sounds pretty appealing so check them out too the share way the next category of website i'm going to talk about is a combination of it could be either where you might find donors who would give you financial gifts or possibly in-kind gifts as well and the disclaimer i want to offer for this section is to my knowledge, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, there is not a website that exists where just all the donors are just hanging out and you just go and you're like, hey, I'm so-and-so, here's my organization, can we have some money? And they're like, sure. Um, there isn't a website like that. So with donors, individual donors, and building your donor uh, base, you're gonna have to do a little bit more work in relationship building before you can just straight up ask for donations, but there are ways to get in front of donors a little bit more and research who they might be so that you can see if they might be uh, possibly interested in your cause. So that's um, kind of the category of websites I'm gonna talk about next. So the fourth website I'm gonna talk about is Nonprofit Megaphone, and actually I'm going to link to a specific web page on the Nonprofit Megaphone website that lists about 77 different businesses who are known to give away grants, donations, and sometimes those in-kind products that we talked about. So this isn't a, a database per se, it's more like a list that can help you with your research. So um, I will link that in the description below this video, so feel free to check those out and browse those 77 companies to get a head start on some of your brainstorming around fundraising. The fifth website is themilliondollarlist.org and this is a project that specifically collects data around who in the United States has given and is giving a million dollar or more gifts to charities. So it's basically kind of a, a wealth tracking mechanism. Um, and like I offered in my disclaimer before I started on this section of websites, um, this isn't a place where you're, you're not gonna like find a, you know, Joe billionaire's contact information, reach out to him, and then, you know, he's gonna give you a million dollars. It's not gonna be like that. The idea here is for you to get a sense of who is giving these types of gifts, if there might be any of these donors in your geographical area, or perhaps they have a history of giving to causes or issues similar to the ones that you're tracking, uh, or that you are supporting, rather, um, and then identifying if you have any potential personal connections to these people to make an introduction and if they are interested sharing more about your cause. So in other words you might call it donor prospecting which is something I talk about in some other videos. Be sure to, to check out some of my other videos about how do you even start building a donor base and stuff like that in my fundraising playlist on the rest of my channel. The sixth website, um, similarly to the one I just talked about, the million dollar list, um, <clears throat> is not gonna be a place where you just find a donor's email address and reach out and then they give you money. Um, it's gonna be another one of those, <clears throat> excuse me, donor prospect prospecting websites and it is fec.org or I'm sorry, .gov um, or the Federal Election Commission. This is where you can find who is in your area who's giving donations to political campaigns. And you can use this information in a couple of different ways. Uh, you can see how much they're giving, which can give you a sense of donor capacity and interest in those particular issues that they're donating to. Um, and it also gives you a sense of just who they are and what, um, what types of, of uh, interest they might have. So um, you would be able to identify the names of the donors um, which they are required to collect to protect um, election integrity um, and see who they are, if they're in your city, if they're in your zip code even. Um, you can get pretty granular with that data. So that's one way of doing some potential donor prospecting as well. 
The next two websites that I'm going to talk about fall into the category of matching donations. And what this means is um, it's businesses or places that will uh, donate an e usually an equal amount um, to a donation that you already have. So let's say your existing donor, Mary, says, I will donate $50 and she works at, um, just making up a company here, um, Cisco. And Cisco says, well, since Mary works for us, part of our program uh, to offer employee benefits is that we're going to match any donations she makes to charity um, up to a certain amount. So then Cisco also gives you an additional $50. And now you've turned a $50 donation into a $100 donation. So that's an example of how matching gifts work if you are not already familiar. It's also really great incentive for donors because they, of course, are donating because they want to make the biggest impact possible for your cause. So if the donor knows that if they donate, their company is going to match it, um, that might be an even bigger incentive to give. So the seventh website is Double the Donation. So that's doublethedonation.com. And on Double the Donation, you can search for companies to see if they have a matching gifts program. And if they do, then you can identify any donors or people you know who might work for that company and let them know, you know, hey, you work for this company. Did you know that they have a matching gift program? So if you give us a donation, they're gonna match it and that expands your impact or doubles your impact in this particular case. So it's a really great tool for you to start researching and making a list of all of those companies that might be offering those matching gifts. The eighth website is Benevity. So that's benevity.com. This one works a little bit differently in that it is mostly a tool for companies to manage their corporate and employee giving programs. So you want your nonprofit to be in Benevity's database so that when companies who have these matching gift programs are searching for charities to donate to, the employees are searching for charities, you wanna make sure your organization is an option that they can see. So what you can do is you can go to Benevity and register for an account and make sure that your organization's information is in there and that it's up to date and that you're showcasing all of your best impacts for possible donors. The final two websites I'm going to talk about today are also about getting your organization discovered by donors in different ways. So website number nine is Giving Compass. Um, and this one has a little bit of a longer link because I'm going to link you directly to the organization submission page. So be sure to look for that in the description below this video too. This is basically a website that is designed to help um, inform potential donors where to give. And so just like the website I just talked about before this, you want to make sure your organization is in this database, that its information is correct and up to date so that potential donors can find you. The 10th and final website I'm going to share with you today is the Stanford University's Philanthropist Resource Directory. And this is a little bit of an interesting case. Once again, this link is longer, so I'm going to list it in the description below. But basically what this is, is this is a website that's designed for an audience of philanthropists. So like I said, it's for donors, possibly major donors, who are trying to learn more, educate themselves, and connect themselves to resources where they can determine where to give their money to make the biggest impact. Now, in looking at it from the perspective of a nonprofit leader, here's what I see. I see that on this website, there are many different categories of resources. There's educational resources, et cetera, but there's also um, a couple of resources where the donors can connect to um, giving intermediaries, which might be foundations or donor advised funds or other organizations in their local communities that are basically advising them on where to give. So you want to make sure that your organization is known by and connected to all of those giving intermediary organizations. 
Donors can't give to your cause if they don't know it exists. And these are kind of like the brokers of the nonprofit fundraising world, right? They're gonna be advising those high net worth donors on where to give. So you wanna get in front of them. So what I would do is, is I would look at this website and I would identify who are all these giving intermediaries in my area or near my area or wherever my organization serves. I would make a list of them, I would find contact information for them, I would reach out and I would ask, how can my nonprofit um, get on your radar, get on the radar of the donors that you're talking to? Is there a place I can submit my information? Can we meet? Can we have a chat? I would be building a relationship with these people because um, if they know your organization, like I said, then they can recommend you to those high net worth donors. All right, so at this point, I'd love to hear, what do you think? Uh, have you tried any of these websites already? Have you gotten any success from them? Share your thoughts, share your comments uh, below in the, in the comment section. Also, if you know of other websites that you think would be helpful to the Changemaker community here, share those as well. Um, let us grow this list of resources for everyone out there trying to raise money to make an impact. As I mentioned before, if you're in the process of starting a nonprofit or developing a sustainable fundraising plan for your nonprofit, or you need some other resources, check out my website, foundertofulltime.com, where I have those online courses that may be able to assist you. I also have a newsletter for change makers and nonprofit leaders that you can subscribe to. I send out news and information and sometimes funding opportunities that I come across. So be sure to get on that as well. Uh, finally, I have a group on Facebook called Change the World or Bust. We have over 4,000 people in there from around the world, all trying to make an impact. And we hope that you can join us over there too. So that's all I've got for you today. Once again, I'm Amber Melanie Smith, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.